Hello, everyone. I'm Jesus, and welcome to the next episode of The Road to Old School MTG. So, a uh, shorter video should be. I will say that, though. One package here. This should be a Homelands sealed booster box. I have here my Ice Age uh, sealed booster box. This is the first boost, uh, sealed booster box, or just booster box, uh, old school. Um, Arrow box I got in. This is now my second one. So in terms of you know my plan for it, honestly, I just want to have it mainly just to have it. Uh, I kind of have the idea of getting multiples of these, a few Ice Age, a few Homelands, also Falling Empires, the cheaper stuff. So that way I could keep some sealed just for my own collection. But I could still open some others in terms of if you know there's ever a opportunity to participate in some kind of a draft event stuff like that right so whether you know like i can contribute some packs and such uh you know at least you know, have that option open so i kind of have one want to have those options available to me for both collecting storing collecting and also still playing right because it's still the temptation is still pretty high to open up this um, Ice Age booster box. I'm sure same thing with the Homelands, but that's kind of like what I'm thinking, at least for the cheaper stuff. I do want to get a bit more expensive stuff later on, like Alliances, Mirage, maybe even Revised stuff. So just me seeing my finances, it is possible, um, but little by little. Uh, but here, Falling Empires box, I got this through eBay. So the usual, I will show the trans eBay transaction where I bought this item for, showing the price and such, and then open this up here on the in front of the camera. All right, so let me change my angle here. Okay. So I guess I'll just open it up first. Because I'm very interested to see. So this one I am taking a chance on. The seller had zero history. So zero feedback, right? So he just basically he just signed up to eBay to sell this. Um I think I had some somewhat of a similar thing happen to me when I bought one of the um, Collector's Edition Mock Sapphires the first time I bought it. The when I, uh, yeah, on one, because I got scammed twice over the same card. And then the third time I actually received the real one. Uh, but one of those, uh, I don't think it was the one where I didn't get the, I never got a card. And then the guy just kept the money, I guess. You know, who knows? But you know, it was a scam. So, but the good thing is, eBay has really strong cyber protection. So I got my full money back. So I never had any issues with, you know, any problems. It was more of a hassle and an, an annoyance. Right? So let's see what happens with this one. Interesting box is empty. It's a whole bunch of. I do see the box. There's the box in there. So pretty cool. It was packaged pretty nicely. The person took good, a good time to take care of the item. Apparently, it's a thing where. I guess, you know, in hindsight, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been surprised, but people, depending on the condition of the box, you, you pay more. This one is kind of beat up on the, the ice age one. This one seems a bit more sturdy. It just hasn't been through so much movement, but that's just going along by the picture. But honestly, I didn't care about that at all. I just cared that it was sealed and that it's real. 
Ooh. But just as I'm educating myself, that's a thing. But for me, I don't care about the, that that aspect of it. I just want a real sealed product if I buy sealed. And yeah, this one is very nice condition. Yeah, looks nice. So comparison here. Yeah, same dimensions. I am also looking to buy containers and special containers to hold these boxes, you know, for display purposes, uh, purposes for um, storage, collecting. Yeah, I mean, every thing here seems like it's legit. Let me see the plastic. It's a little stronger on the Ice Age one. But still okay. Just looking at the telltale marks here. Um, so some, I noticed on um, Homelands, it did have the clear plastic here, like here. Here's empty, I can feel the cardboard. So I did see some, but the mo most that I saw of um, Homelands, uh, it was is totally sealed. So, you know, it varies just because it may have or may not have these holes doesn't make it, you know, a, a counterfeit or, you know, there's something's up. I'm just trying to take a peek. Okay, yeah, I see the, yep, I definitely see the, the packs inside. It, it is Homelands, I can tell. Kind of like here, right? So I did, you know, I can see the boosters inside. Oh, and for this one, on a previous video, I mentioned that I didn't have the ticket, that little ticket. Uh, as I just was inspecting and moving it around, that little ticket came out. So that's a cool sign to see. So I'm not sure. If, I think that's maybe a standard. So maybe if I shake this enough, or maybe I can kind of peek through it. I can see that little sticker poke out. We'll see. But I wasn't even trying to do it. I was just looking at it for the Ice Age one and it just popped, poked up. So maybe it happens with this one too. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it looks, looks great. Like pretty excited to add this to my collection. This is all my collection, right? So it's just two. I well, didn't notice these little poles on the front. It's not a big deal. Actually, it is there on the picture. So I'll, like I usually do, I'll show the image of the purchase uh, item from where I got it from. But first, let's, let me do a little close up here. So here you see like the box on the Homelands logo. It's just little tore up, folded over, but that's okay. So it's pretty much sealed all the way around. Also, this kind of seal, like that's, I you know saw that in a lot of the other up uh, boxes being sold. So that was a good sign. So these are cool, um, 60 packs, I believe. Yeah, so 60 cards, I mean, four, eight cards per pack, 60 cards, uh, packs in the box, right? So they have a lot more than the almost double, right? But a normal, but then it, that's because it's just half the amount of cards per pack, right? So it makes sense. 
but still, you know, still 60 packs. Um, all right, and then let's see the bottom here. So then quick comparison to my Ice H1. Somebody on the, so I joined the Facebook sealed magic product um, group. And somebody had a really nice deal on some of these, but I missed uh, a lot of times, like somebody posts a really good deal and then you have to keep refreshing that page because you can miss out within minutes. All right, but yeah, this looks pretty cool. Uh, let me go back to the top view and then the So here, this one is more caved in. This one is more bursting out. It's more um, rigid. So it could be just because the box was taken care of better. But it could be also just it's filled with more packs. It just pokes out more. Right? This one definitely is caving in a little. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Right? But it's there's a gap there. This has no gap, or at least a lot of uh, less of it. Um, all right. So pretty happy. So now that's two. Uh, my little collection of sealed stuff is getting up there. All right. So let me share where the details of where I, how I bought this. So from Canada. So there's the sellers. No history. So still no history. So yeah, it, so he he did have. Do you see that little pole there on these things? So he did write half that detail there. So look good. Uh, from Canada, uh, eight hundred Canadian dollars. It came out to six thirty American. Plus with the shipping and then the fees, it came to like basically seven hundred, which is not bad for a sealed booster box, Homeland's booster box, in pretty decent condition. At least way better than the Ice Age one. Uh, it could go for easily eight eight hundred and up, over a thousand as well. Um, but you know, if you just wait around a bit, like I did, you can get better deals. And now that I'm seeing through the Facebook um, sealed product page, there's a lot of good options there. Also, you just have to keep constantly refreshing and so forth and also have the funds available right because everybody is looking to buy it quickly so you gotta have the money nobody's gonna wait for you like oh i'm interested in it but can you you know can you wait until i get home now this the a lot of these items can be sold within minutes i definitely bought spent like a thousand dollars within 10 minutes where I contact the person. Uh, actually, with the recent, um, in the last video I did, a, I opened up a revised underground scene. So literally within minutes of the posting, because I just kept refreshing, uh, I noticed that post posting, and then within 10 minutes of me reaching out with, to contact the person that I was interested in, in I had already paid him and the transaction was done. And then he updated his, his listing as it being sold already, right? So it can go very fast. So you have to be, have the funds available. You have to refresh. You gotta be able to contact, get in contact with the person within minutes because no one's gonna wait for you because five minutes later, somebody else is gonna pay, pay it for themselves, right? So there's no way um all right so this is the listing so like i said i paid 700 after everything total 700 american um so yeah um all right so that's the end of this one i do plan on getting more of these these two particular you know the cheaper stuff because i'm more uh, you know i'm more likely not to be um regret 
opening these these kind of lower tier old school stuff because it's cheap uh right so i'm not losing out on you know i don't see it as so much as a you know investment i just think it's cool to have uh and for me the my growing bank accounts number you know um you know the balance increasing balance doesn't excite me this is what excites me excites me having these things having something tangible right? i know like if i need the money i know I can just sell them back later probably make a profit out of it right but it's just you know to me just seeing a number on a computer screen rise and rise is born i rather have this as uh you know as a symbol of the money that i earn being put to something that i love um, all right so two hopefully more to go i'm look i'm going to purchase the packagings um the containers a little bit later um i think once i get one or one more box one or two more boxes because the shipping is kind of expensive on those not super expensive like 15 bucks but but the more you buy it the cheaper the shipping is so i want to buy like at least five but then i could wait until i get a couple more booster boxes we'll see right but that's the idea here uh these two items here to start off my sealed product uh, collection all right so thank you for watching this video